Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another Wukong video. I have one on my channel, I think, and I was quite surprised to find one in my uh, inbox because he isn't played a whole lot. And this was actually supposed to be. Uh, I can't remember, some other champion. So, anyway. Kinda glad that it is a Wukong video, because as I said, I only have one. And um, yeah, he is uh, quite a good champion act actually. So, starting off with Doran's Blade here. And um, we're going to watch him go. Hang on, I'll uh, switch this off, no, like this, yeah. That's that's right. Welcome there we go. So actually, um, yeah, as I said, we don't see a whole lot of Wukong, and I have no idea how to play him because I've literally never played him, even when he was free. And let's see when this game was played. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, the fun thing about this, uh, it's the 14th of August, apparently. So it's My journey's only quite a long day. time ago, actually. Um, so the uh, the fun thing about this, uh, this replay system is that you can actually scroll in the dimensions, so you can actually get nice overviews and su such and I think it would be really cool if they make the this scored. game uh, one of the game modes into a first person shooter kind top. of thing or a third person yeah well this is a third person shooter but actually a first person so that you are your champion and that you can actually um, shoot your spells at whatever is there but well the difference between this one and a normal first person shooter would be that you don't get to uh or you d you don't have to aim in a z direction so you only have to uh point your mouse at whatever you want to hit and then it it kind of plays the same as the normal game but with the big difference that you wouldn't well y you would see from the eyes of your champion and you would be able to cast your normal spells and i think that would be an actually really different approach to the same game and since they already have all of that I think it's quite easy to make actually <laughs> so doing a lot of damage here to uh, both uh, Nasus and Udyr and Nasus has to use his heal there and the tab doesn't work so let me show you this so you can figure out what runes he's using so this game because it's uh, from before the um, client got updated. Uh, it doesn't actually include the uh, well the stat screen that you can pull up with all the minions and such and all the items everyone's buying. Um, this guy starting off with Doran's shield, this guy starting off with the ring and this guy with a shield. So it's Doran's all round for the bottom lane. And yeah, Wukong is kind of chilling here instead of <laughs> helping his, tea, his uh, teammate. So once again I uh, want to mention that I would really like to make a team out of my subscribers uh, to play this game a little more seriously and well to basically play games with people you know instead of just these randoms, because I'm getting kind of tired of playing with these stupid randoms. I played three games with randoms yesterday, lost all three of them, then I started to play with my subscribers and I won three out of three. So basically that's the difference. Uh, if you play with just some random dudes you can have a lot of levers, you have no idea what you're trying to do, you have no idea how good they are, and if you're playing with people that actually know how to play, this game becomes so much more fun to play. Anyway, I, I'm probably going to make a video about that, just a short video, 
and just leave a comment on that one if you would be interested in that and if you are interested in playing with me by the way uh, join the chat room there's a video on my channel there's actually two videos on my channel on how to get into the chat room just uh, well search for chat room two words on my channel and you will find the two videos and either one explains what you have to do to uh, to get in and to stay uh, well to automatically get into the chat room every time you go online because that's where I get my uh, my players from for my uh, uh, games with viewers and uh, custom games also uh, we would like to play more custom games everyone likes the custom games but for the custom games you need to have at least six people online and normally we see that there are around two three four that are not in game at that moment in the chat room but I have 35 other viewers that are online at that same moment and every now and then someone sends me a message sure you can do that as well but that's not an effective way of joining the uh, the custom games or the games in general so Melfight is uh, backing off here he's uh, healing in base and Wukong has been doing a great job of just doing damage well Malphite as well I guess but yeah these guys are both really low unfortunately he already used his ignite there on uh, Nessus and it didn't really work out I mean he didn't get the kill so you want to save your ignite for a really when you know you get the kill if you do like 200 more damage because this is only 50 true damage plus 20 per level so at the moment he's level 4 so that's 100 damage and yeah that is not really effective as a damage tool so you really want to use it as a last resort to do 200 damage or 100 damage in this case later on it becomes better of course at level 18 it's a pretty decent amount of damage since it's true damage and that's why you die from uh, ignite a lot in the later stage of the game but not in the early stages in the early stages it's mainly used as extra damage like Wukong just did here and it is just not good enough I mean that's not how you should use it uh, it's not a spell that you can uh, get back easily it has a long cooldown and you should play with it like well like it is uh, it has a big cost anyway now fights back and um, Wukong is still full health full mana doing a good job of hitting the uh, creeps and also uh, keeping the uh, the enemies away. Yeah, this um, this clone thingy, the decoy, is really effective. I've played against Wukong a couple of times when he was free, and you really cannot see when they use that. You can only see it by the fact that it just stands there. But um, it is really hard to distinguish between the real one and the clone. So they, that's an excellent design decision. It's not like, uh, well, the one from Leblanc or, well, yeah, the one from Leblanc. Let's call that. I mean, the one from, uh, what's his face, Shaco. That's actually a really good one. Because that one actually does damage and such. But you also cannot distinguish between the two. Well, except that you used to be able to click on it and if it showed the items so here so like this if it showed the items then it was a real one and otherwise it was the fake one also if you uh, if Shaco has a buff then the one with the buff is the real one so really easy to distinguish there I'm not sure if they fixed that but I'm sure they fixed the uh, the items because well that's the way we used to distinguish between them. 
And now you no longer can do that. Um, yeah, they fixed the this patch. So it was in the patch notes. And once again, they're doing a whole lot of damage. Ness is completely out of mana. And he can pretty much die here. A little too early on the ignite once again. I don't know who did the ignite. Yeah, once again, uh, Wukong. <laughs> Dude, you're a little too early. <laughs> I know it's really hard to wait for that because it feels so natural to launch all of your skills at the same time. But you really want to use that at the last possible Our moment. And we see a disconnect from uh, this guy. Who apparently was being attacked by... Uh, uh, Kale. I played some Kale yesterday as well, but my team really didn't appreciate me. That was kind of unfortunate. I will try her again. I think she's a great support, and I kind of forgot to test her in my search for a new support character. Yeah, I tried out all the regular supports and totally forgot that she is a support too. And come on, get out of there. Oh, using the ultimate here. Ultimate not doing a whole lot of damage. It is uh, 20 per second. Wow. Oh, plus 111. No, uh, 112. Sorry. So, yeah, it does do 130 damage per second. But, yeah, that's not a whole, a whole lot. I mean, it's going to level up, obviously over time because well your attack damage increases and it the the flat amount will probably get higher if you level up not sure if the uh, the percentage will vary well will go up basically but I'm pretty sure it won't because that's normally how it works normally it's just the flat amount that changes and not the uh, ratio but yeah, Wukong is a pretty much an AD champion. Uh, you have Decoy, which uh, does AP damage. I have no idea why. I mean, what would be the reason to do... Uh, well, in this case, 4. But I don't know why he has 7 ability power. So, uh, why you would like to do like 60% damage. Uh, AP damage. Come on! No, he's going to die. Oh, that's not him. The crates. So yeah, I'm not able to uh, to get that because all of his skills were on cooldown. This is, by the way, where the ignite would have come in great because um, I think his ult, so Nessus's ult. Uh, says that he gains 300 life and if you prevent half of that he only gains 150 so that would mean you do you don't uh, just do the 100 and something damage from it's actually 230 now uh, from just the skill or well just this but you only also prevent him from gaining the 150 life not sure if it works like that because I'm not sure how they worded it or rather how they programmed it because well even though they can word it as uh, you gain 300 life they can still say well you gain 300 maximum life and then just gain the amount of life so yeah But anyway, I don't, I'm not sure how that uh, how that works. It seems that uh, uh, Nasus is no longer here, and it seems that there are three champions versus two champions in mid, and this guy getting almost getting killed. I'm assuming, cannot actually tell. Come on, get in there, do some damage. 
Yeah, let's go a little bit to, uh, through the uh, the laning phase. The laning phase, yeah, is a little bit messy here. I think Wu Kong is doing fine, but his teammate has left him uh, to deal with a one v two lane, and he's coming back now. But not sure what uh, what happened there. Also, not sure why there are. Two champions or three champions uh, mid from the enemy team, and nobody's pushing top lane. I mean, that would be my first thing to do: is to kill the top turrets. I mean, there's nobody top. Once again, dying there. Well, not Wukong, obviously, but. Uh, And as you can see, once you run away, it's uh, more the invisibility that works for you than uh, anything else. It really doesn't do a whole lot that there's a copy of you. But in the middle of a fight, it is definitely useful to have uh, one of these... Uh, well, one of these clones. Because in the middle of the fight, people expect you to not move and just stay in there and attack. So then it's really hard to distinguish between the real thing and the, the clone. So, this guy is going back home, leaving just uh, one guy in the lane and. Katarina is going home as well. So let's um, fast forward a little bit more. Not sure what he's going to do. He's probably just going to wait until the minions arrive. Which isn't the best way to deal with this, obviously. Uh, he's waiting for some backup from one of his teammates. Oh. And we follow this fight. One of his uh, teammates dying here. They're not doing too well. I mean, it's five and nine. But we will Kong still being zero zero. But oh no 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 no! Oh, well he gets lucky here. Three, two, one, and he has the invisibility. Yeah, escaping at very low health there. Excellently done. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, this is really long cooldown on the decoy. You really want to make sure that you use it at the correct time because you can only use it, as you can see, once every fight. You want to use it to distract your enemies as much as possible and not so much for the invisibility. You see, invisibility can only get you so far, and if they're chasing you, then it's not the best thing to have. Because, well, you're going to pop up after two seconds, a uh, second and a half. I wonder if there are any champions coming, because there probably aren't. I assume everyone is in mid now. Or going to mid. At least, I would never follow the minions in this far. <laughs> but who knows, you might get lucky. And Getting a second level in the ultimate here. And hasn't used his ex uh, exhaust once, I think. At least I haven't seen it. And yeah, the, uh, the ultimate really not doing that much. Come on. Use the, use the exhaust on this guy. Yeah. No, never mind. Ignite back up. Let's see if he uses it correctly this time. Uh, so the Cyclone now does 110 physical damage plus the same ratio as before. 
Which is more than 100% by the way. It's like 1.2. So 120%. But yeah, that's damage per second. And normally you can... Well, this guy only attacks for 0 0.9 times per second. But technically you can uh, attack more than once a second. As you can see here, 1.5 times per second for Yi. And that's without his ultimate and such. Well, he doesn't have any uh, other modifiers, I guess. So they are going to try to gank top, but there are two champions here, one of which is Annie with a stun. That's going to be hard to manage. And the only the, uh, the best thing that could happen here is that she stuns his clone and or that she just runs away. That would be good as well. Annie could have just blown everyone up here by the way. So nice interference by Katarina. And yeah, that wasn't too smart, but nice attempt. And I think the the better thing to do is just to back off. They are really fed. And even though the kills are pretty equal now, we can see that they are a lot stronger because they are pushing the lane and uh, Come on, exhaust. No. He's just as bad with the exhaust as I am, I guess. And this is really the best way to show that you are a newbie at this game. If you're saying that, like, come one versus one, man, I'll kill you. Yeah, what's the, what's the use in that? Why would anyone care? I mean, it's a team game. The point of the game is to work as a team to kill the Nexus. So why would you want to be good one versus one? You want to do your job in the team. But yeah, fortunately I don't see these kind of remarks a lot anymore. <laughs> Since I had my 18 game win winning streak, I should be uh, rid of those... Uh, Pesky little newbies. It was followed by a five game losing streak by the way. And now I uh, I won the last, I don't know, few, three or so. So it's not uh, a repeat of the uh, first 18 yet, but it's definitely a start. Another turret dies, and it's the middle turret this time, so Assassin actually an inhibitor turret. And they get a, another disconnect, this time by Melphite. It might be the... Uh, the game just lagging, might also be just bad computers. Which I generally think is the reason for this kind of uh, stuff. Dude! You have been slain. <laughs> At least he is going to pick up an easy kill. A has but yeah, he should have been there in the first place. And this guy should have been there. But this guy is now going to get killed, I'm assuming. An enemy has been slain. Wow! actually surviving that. <laughs> that is quite surprising because normally we would see her die quite easily to Udyr. But Udyr stood there for the whole ultimate and that probably did it. Probably was enough to uh, to finish him off. Spree. 
Yeah, dude, and he works with the stun, so get over it. <laughs> it's the, the only really strong thing about Annie, that she can stun people and nuke them down. And then stun them again. Yeah, they don't have any minions here, so no chance of getting the turret. But at least it's 15 to 16 now, so they're getting close to being equal to the enemy. And they won quite a few fights in the last few minutes. So maybe, maybe they will actually win this one. Because I have no idea. As I said, he accidentally sent me this game. He wants to send me another game. Which I'm not sure anymore what champion that was, but that's okay. And he finally coming in. I have no idea what took him so long. He should have been in there at the same moment as Wukong. And this time, oh, he did use his uh, exhaust at some point. I missed that. Yeah, Yi should have had a triple kill there, easily, with the help of Wukong, and um, yeah, Misfortune coming in a little bit late, but she was probably still in, uh, still healing up, or, well, maybe she was dead, I don't know. Hey, Malphite's back. Malphite is level, I don't know. Let's see, level 9, so that's excellent. Level 9, level 10, then we have two level 16s, and he's level 13, so kind of a big level difference here. Level 9 especially, that's... yeah. Doesn't even have to do with the fact that he disconnected for a while. I think he just hasn't been killing a lot of minions, or wasn't near enough minions. Anyway, we're following around Wukong, and Wukong is, uh, yeah, just very glad he wasn't following uh, the other guy, because he couldn't have saved that. And this is something they should have engaged. I mean, 2 versus 3, yeah, that wasn't a good use of the uh, invisibility, by the way. Nobody's getting fooled by that. But he is in the middle lane, joined up by. Uh, what are you doing? You really going back? No, there's two champions here. What are they doing here? Unstoppable. <laughs> One stack. Wow. Yeah, I cannot pull up the uh, the score, which is kind of unfortunate because I wanted to see. Because sometimes these guys that take uh, the soul uh, soul stealer, they will be like one and six or something. But they have this build from the internet somewhere, some random sites like Mobile Fire, and. Yeah, they just found this build that it's excellent to have a soul stealer, and then every game they will build a soul stealer, and every game they will build spell vamp, and every build, uh, every uh, game they will build uh, death cap, completely ignoring the fact that different games require different builds. Anyway, at least uh, Wukong has Mercury Strats, which is a good deal. Not sure what his uh, what the items are. Yeah, they're recommended for him. They are really good against uh, CC heavy teams, and while well, this guy's slow is 
uh, well and the stun from well the snare from the traps and all these kind of things are enough to uh, the stun from Annie are really negated by the fact that you have these boots and then this guy has a stun as well so all in all it's a good investment and it's a lot better than going for something that adds damage so what are we doing let's fast forward a little bit because he's just standing around for the moment and so they obviously have no idea what to do now and what they should do now is group up as a team and just kill someone like that only yeah actually kill I want to say <laughs> oh, where are we here so they could have had an easy kill there by just using the exhaust because Udyr just ran away and uh, Oh, didn't use his uh, decoy. You have been slain. And yeah, this guy is now dying because all of the uh, cool <laughs> uh, everything was on cooldown. An ally has been slain. And this guy is now legendary. So Master Yi once again striking. Uh, yeah, in <laughs> and do doing the thing he needs to do. Why did he flash? I have no idea. Well, he just randomly flashed. Whatever. So it's 18 on these two, and 10, 12, and 15. I think this guy is still AFK. Yeah. So, 4v5 apparently. They still can win this with uh, Yi being so uh, incredibly fat. I mean, Yi is legendary by now, which means that he can pretty much kill everyone on the team. <laughs> Just look at these items. <laughs> That's incredible. So you going to take down the turret here with uh, with his ultimate, and there we go. And he didn't have her ultimate uh, her stun up, so without the stun, it's fairly impossible to stop Yi because he cannot be slowed. And protect the Yi, come on! There we go. Nope, not actually getting the kill off. But Yi is going to finish this off. Oh, Yi is no longer here. Never mind. I assumed he was still here. But yeah. He was already backing up, and the rest of the team should have had. should, should have done the same thing. Because they don't have the damage. So, the uh, one of the opponents now uh, leaves the game, making it a fair game once more, and they may actually win it now, because they have a very fat Yi, and I don't think any of the opponents are this fat. And this guy has some pretty nice items as well. Let's see. Hang on. Um, yeah, so Meta's Blood Razor is really scary. Any not building anything heavy AP. It's more of a utility build, I would say. I mean, she does have a lot of magic penetration, but nobody's building magic resist. At least that's what I'm assuming. 
This guy is pretty scary. He has uh, the Trinity Force and I'm going to get two kills. Oh, Go ye! Your inhibitor is respawning soon. <laughs> yeah, Yi's just, uh, he can just kill the whole team with his reduced cooldowns because he gets a kill. The only thing limiting him is the amount of mana he has. Once again using a flash, I have no idea what this guy is doing. But he's going to take down the turret apparently, or at least attempting to. Healing up, but that's not going to do a whole lot because he has no AP. So it's like 200 health, I think. Something like that. Would have been a lot better if he just killed Udir. Instead of trying to take down the turret without minions. But he is almost full health once again. I don't know what his uh, what his mana is like at the moment. Let us go. Wukong, in the meantime, defending the newly spawned inhibitor, or rather, waiting for the enemies to uh, show up. And you go in. Getting Nothing done. Okay. So the team should have definitely helped. I mean, the ultimate from uh, Misfortune should have definitely been used there against three opponents. Yeah, that w that was a whole lot of damage, and he could have easily finished that, but. It's because people want, I guess it is, because people want to have their own kills and don't want to have team kills. They want to have, well, be the one that does the, did, well, that does the killing. No, Master Yi! Yeah, he's getting out of there. Wisely so. Two infinity edges. Wow. Never seen that. <laughs> and now there's 400 damage per hit. 400. And that's not counting the uh, critical strike because that's probably at 100% as well. 30, 25, 25, so pretty much. Oh, and this one 10, so yeah. It's at 90% or something. So he does, um, what's that, 835 damage per hit. So go get them. Go kill Annie. Yeah, someone has to uh, break the stun on that. Did they see them or? Come on, go! There we go! Two hits and he's dead. There we go, three hits and he's dead. Uh, this should have happened a minute ago. But yeah. No! He is such a wimp! Come on! Kill this dude! <laughs> oh my god, Master Yi, not really the best one. And so you see, Master Yi is really some uh, some champion that even the most, well, the, the worst player in the game can master. Only well, it's the difference between actually playing, or just playing him, or playing him well. Master Yi, come on, dude! What are you doing? Oh man, he just went home, full health, and left his teammates to clear up his map. 
the mess. <sighs> oh, the blue team surrenders. <sighs> this was the ye, come on, dude. <laughs> anyway, very entertaining match. It was completely horrible play, but it was entertaining nonetheless. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. <laughs> GG.